Wearing a diaper to work or school can be challenging to say the least, especially when you don't have access to a private restroom to take care of your business in. I have a couple of tips and techniques, some things for you to think about to help you get through your day a little bit easier. What we're gonna think about today is how to get strategic with your diaper changes. Darn it, Jim, we need a better strategy. If you find you don't have access to a private restroom where you work or where you're going to school, one thing you can consider is trying to locate a bathroom that has less traffic than other bathrooms. By finding a bathroom that has less traffic than other bathrooms, you can give yourself a little bit more breathing space when it comes to untaping the diapers and taping back up. Uh, perhaps give yourself a little bit more comfort to execute what you need to do. Another strategy to consider is what time of day you're going to perform your diaper change at. There may be a particular time of the day when everybody's out to lunch or people are tied up in meetings or classes that may work best for you and your comfort zone. One tip I often forget to mention when doing videos or content like this is to bring extra plastic bags in your backpack or wherever you're stashing your supplies at. The plastic bags are useful if you end up in a public restroom and there happen to be other people in the restroom and you're feeling self-conscious about disposing of the used diaper in front of people. If you tie it up in a couple different plastic bags, it makes it difficult to tell what that is. Most people won't know or even consider it. They'll mind their own business and you can go on about your day after you've disposed of your used product. Definitely not something you want to be carrying around. Another thing to try, which I've done myself, you know, I might seem like this confident guy that's willing to talk about this to the world, but even in a public restroom, I feel a little bit self-conscious sometimes, especially when it comes to untaping the diaper. We all know how bathrooms can reverberate sound and end up making things sound a lot louder. So when it comes to taking the tape off the diaper, one thing that I do sometimes, especially I've done before in a work restroom where I didn't want my colleagues to know, uh, is wait until the bathroom was entirely empty before I went and untaped my diaper. Someone there? So if you're gonna use that strategy, that's something to consider giving yourself extra time for, because you never know, you might need a little extra time if people are running, coming in and out of the bathroom and you're feeling a little bit self-conscious about untaping or taping up the diaper with other people in the bathroom. Another approach that some people take is simply to try and not have to change throughout the entire day. So they'll diaper up extra thick or extra absorbents. So that way they can make it through the entire day without needing to change once until they get home. There's a few different ways to approach doing this. You can either do this through the double diaper technique, which is exactly what it sounds like, where you double up on diapers. Usually if you're using disposable diapers for this, you'd wanna use the product that fits you and then maybe a product to size up and then poke holes in the product on the inner side of the diaper. So rip holes in it, poke holes in it. Some people just take a Zacto knife and cut stuff into it to make it so that way the fluid will seep through the diaper into the outer layer. Personally, the other option is the one that I prefer and that I would recommend to you, and that is simply to just use a booster pad. They make booster pads in all different shapes and sizes, so that way you can get the extra absorbency level that you need, that fits for you, and your level of comfort. Because we all know if you add more absorbency to a diaper, you're generally also adding more thickness to it, and when you add more thickness to it, that can make you feel a lot more self-conscious about having to wear the product to begin with. If you want to wear diapers with confidence, I don't recommend going out like this. Can you tell that I'm wearing a diaper? I think you can. It's pretty obvious to me. Don't do it. So when you use a booster pad, you can find something that will fit your level of, of absorbency needs and your level of comfort need. It's a weird way to say that, but I'm rolling with it. Other thing I would recommend is not only finding clothing that you are comfortable in, but also helps conceal the thickness of the product that you might need to wear. So when it comes to actually doing something like the double diaper or the booster pad and the product ends up getting thicker, one way to address that is by wearing clothes just a little bit larger than what you might normally wear. When it comes to finding clothes that you're comfortable in, my next best tip is to shop for those clothes wearing the products that you need to wear that you feel most comfortable in and most protected in. By shopping with your thickest product on or maybe even somewhat used, you can ensure that no matter how much it swells up throughout the day, you're wearing clothing that helps you feel comfortable and conceals the fact that you're wearing a diaper. And on that note, when it comes to particular types of clothing that help conceal the fact that you're wearing adult diapers, they do in fact make adult onesies. So that is exactly what it sounds like. It's just like a onesie for babies that snaps in the crotch and helps hold the diaper up uh, but the added benefit to this when it comes to helping conceal the fact that you're wearing a diaper is that it looks like a tucked in shirt so they do make these types of products in adult styles where it has a collar and it looks more like a polo shirt that's tucked in so that way if you're doing a physical job and you're going to be bending over and moving a bunch of stuff where you might have the fear of the waistband of the diaper poking out from underneath your shirt something like a onesie could help protect you against that 
feeling. The other benefit to the onesie is if you are wearing a thicker diaper or something that you have to wear for a longer period of time that ends up absorbing a lot and getting really heavy, the onesie can also help hold the diaper in place and keep it from sagging off your bum, off your butt, <laughs> and keep the diaper from sagging off your butt. I don't know which one works. Personally, I don't really use onesies all that often, but I do know quite a few people who do. They do make them in all sorts of styles, both adult styles and more fun styles that if you're feeling a little bit more quirky and getting on the funner side of things, you can choose to use those as well. For more tips and techniques on wearing adult diapers to work or school, check out this video right here. Until next time, stay dry.